The highly anticipated movie Love is Blind premiered at the Kent Theater in Brooklyn. It was a great movie. Love is Blind. Il veut dire comme ça que l'amour est aveugle. Fifi Fashion Week produced and sponsored by media mogul Sophia Davis at the Watson Hotel in New York City. These designers are not people to just throw you know, garments together or pieces together. They actually have collections to rival, you know, some of the big houses. Jerk her Branzino fish with celebrity yeah. chef Patrick Simpson yeah. on this week's In the Kitchen. Yeah. Up close and personal with Brandon international Brown. music promoter Kerry Ann Brown. I decided, you know, as I was getting, you know, much um, up in age that maybe I should do this music, you know, as a business. You're watching Come Chat With Me, New York's number one Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. <music> when a forbidden love goes wrong, Love is Blind, the movie, based on the It web series. Uh, we have a young woman very distraught, and rightfully so. Uh, this psychopath has dead bodies all over the house. Do you remember anything about the day he died? They took him away from me. Who's dead? <laughs> it's basically based on my life story. Me and my wife, love is blind because I'm Haitian and she's Pakistani and both our parents didn't want us to be together. So, you know, it was one of those and basically, you know, life take its course. What impact do you think this movie would have in the Haitian community? Oh, a real, real positive impact. It tells you that love has no barrier. So, and also, somehow he's telling your parents to stay out of the business whenever somebody choose a partner, a loved one, to try to stay at a distance, observe, on due time, you come and provide your, your advice. We watched the web series, we just turned everything over from the web series and turned it into a movie. So everything you saw in the web series is just picked up where the web series left off. I'm here for support. I can't wait to see Love is Blind. It's going to be awesome. Samu has already said, Love is Blind. He said that love is I'm a killer. Are <laughs> <laughs> you that your killing looks? That's kind of my killing look, but no. She has, she's like a part square, part assassin. Like she has a life to where it's like, when I say square, it's like someone she loves, a regular life, you know, maybe going out to the movies. And then she has another part of her that she has to go do her thing, which is take you out if it need be. The character I play, his name is Ralphie. You know, he's a protagonist in the in the movie. You know, he does a lot of underhanded things as, as well as Olin, um, Owen, you know, some money and he's a, he's a part-time hustler and then he does a lot of things that a lot of people is not going to like. So I like to get people emotionally invested into the characters. I'm actually playing a detective. I had to, you know, do a little research and, and become a different character. It's a great feeling. Now I get to see myself in a big screen to actually see how I project to, and see the, the people's actual feelings instead of YouTube, everybody's seeing you at home. I was actually responsible for scoring the movie and uh, doing all the audio for you know most of Flowex films. So I was behind all of the fight scenes. Uh, all, the, all the artists that I work with are putting the music bed behind the entire movie. We provided all the, the artists and the music as well as the sound effects and all of the, uh, the action scenes that went down with, uh, with uh, Love is Blind. My name is Erica King and I'm a hustler in the movie. I'm one of Mercy's, the character Mercy's um, street hustlers, but I'm also a rap artist. So in this, um, in this movie, you're going to see me performing on stage at a rap concert. But you'll see more of me in Love is Blind Volume 2, so stay tuned. Would you believe that Mercy seriously thought I tried to kill him? Do that, a bullet comes out of the hospital, he has a bullet stopped in his leg, and say, I try to kill him. Who killed Robert? There was a lot of obstacles, the fact, like I said, um, I'm from Haiti, and then my culture is different, her culture is different, and, you know, but at the end of the day, when you have love and you find the right person, you make it happen. I played a son of my dad's, I think. And how was it working with your dad? It's kind of fun. It's fun. And is this the first time you're working with your dad in a movie? No. 
So I guess we could be looking forward for a lot more of you on the street. Yeah. And it's exciting, right? Yeah. What up, everybody? This is your girl, Yella Ray of Vocalize New York. And we are here supporting the movie Love is Blind. Let me tell you something. It is crazy in here right now. It's so many people. It's so many actors. So many talented young individuals here today. It's funny. It gives you a lot of emotion. I'm delighted. And I cannot wait for another film. So it was a cliffhanger. I ain't going to ruin nothing. But it was a cliffhanger. So we got to see part two. Hey, it's your girl, Ski. And I just finished watching Love is Blind. And it was a great movie. Big shout out to my guy Juan Lee, you know what I mean? Flowix Films, they taking over, not just this year, but last year, the year before that, every year that's coming for independent artists, black man, if it ain't black owners, whack on. Yo, shout out to my guy, he doing his thing, man. <laughs> I just want, I watched him grow up, yo. And now he making movies. Love is blind. She's from Pakistan, I'm from Haiti. And here we are 20 years later. Fifi Fashion Week. Fashion industry, finest independence. Are doing a tremendous thing. We have independent designers of high fashion and couture that will be showing their luxury line today right here at the Watson Hotel in New York City. We have 10 designers and all of the designers are unique. They bring a wonderful, wonderful flavor to Fashion Week because they are independent. So therefore, these are not designers that are sponsored or uh, have big conglomerates behind them. So with these designers, we tend to get quite a bit of creativity. I've been doing this over 30 years. So although I may look like a spring chicken, I am not. I have been in this business for over 30 years. And I feel that the independent designers, the independent fashion industry, those are the ones that really are talented and creative. But a lot of times they don't get the press. They don't get the publicity. They're not published. So no one knows how wonderful they are. So this is why I do Fifi. And Fifi stands for Fashion Industry Finest Independence. So these are the finest of the finest designers on the market that are independent and emerging. We have the amazing, talented Ray Brown of Ray Vincent, and he is absolutely amazing out of Philly, uh, Trenton, New Jersey or Philly. And he is just one of the designers to watch. I mean, his garments are so amazing. He does mostly men, but he also does women. But these are garments that are just, when you see them, it is high fashion. He has a wonderful collection. These designers are not people to just throw you know garments together or pieces together they actually have collections to rival you know some of the big houses we also have larry underwood of underwood new york he is also a men's designer that is fantastic and he has beautiful couture wear but it's draped so the good thing about that is you see a man in something soft although it's still masculine it's a soft look to it have the one and only Malcolm Staples. Now Malcolm is the $5,000 cash fashion and beauty Olympic winner for 2019. He won $5,000 in cash. He does custom made to order couture menswear, but he throws in a touch of women's wear to balance the line and it is fantastic. Kenya Smith of Planet Zero Motorsports that does couture motorsport wear that can be worn either for racing or it can be worn just because it's that fabulous. We have quite a bit of wonderful designers here, Heritage Indian Fashion, Body Goddess. We also have our Boss Lady, our Resort Wear. We have quite a bit and they, you know, are really going to bring the house down. It's going to be amazing. He doesn't have a set type of music style. He does what comes to mind and what feels right. Runkos, Dala 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 is our Atta Road music video. Atta 
Road music video. At a road. Mommy send up with no girl for me head. So me fling a new chain on me neck. With a stray crusade, it's set cross. Bigger than your church bank, get brass. Telepop for your every debt. Straight cash, we no tech check. New Jeep, no button for your breast boy. You want beef, give a money, you no get caught. Text from the rich and get a boy. Pack up the brings up a boy. Jaggy with bricks, pick up the story. If I rule the world, nobody would have poor. Free hospital, feed the world up one more. If I rule the world, nobody would have thrown up. None of them go rich like a king Why you think man I live like a king Can't copy cut the size of the link Man I build by a hill to the horse Then a horse can the hill yo when my bless me have a toast and give my best to coffee Money I make me still no boast, make me address the topic Build up a street and make them see to me address and stop it It in on my jeans, it in on my jeans and me address the pocket You the guess I scamming, you the sad daddy You the bet me sell myself, I tell you I bless you stop it My body all academy, if me no get no Grammy Can buy the wall up, don't for me to get happy On side nobody could have poor Free hospital, feed the wall up one more If I rule the world, nobody would have thrown up Hello everyone, this is Sanaya. I'm here to tell you about my brand new gospel reggae album. The title is called Yes, I Know. With songs like We'll Do It Again, Holy Is The Lord, and The Power Of God. You can find my songs on iTunes, Spotify, and all digital platforms. Please go out and check it out. It is something okay. you'll never forget. The one left God bless. All right, guys, welcome to another episode. I wish for you today. In at the kitchen, don't get it twisted. And you're done already. Every week, I'm going to have something wonderful and something nice, something different, something that you're really not used to seeing make, but I'm going to put it together. Okay guys, so we are gonna make a branzino, jerk herb branzino fish. And one of the thing I love about this fish, it's very flavorful and you'll definitely enjoy. And we're gonna use a lot of herbs because the flavor is gonna definitely pop. So this is definitely something you're gonna enjoy. Now branzino fish is a fish where a lot of the Israeli people, they love this fish. Italian do love it. Jamaicans also love it too. I know the name is kind of new, but I know we also like the red snapper. This have a very intense flavor that you will definitely enjoy. So right here, what I'm doing now, I'm going to put on a little bit of my salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of jerk season, nothing too much because you don't want to overpower the flavor. On the inside, I'm also going to rub some of the season on the inside so we can bring the flavor in with some fresh garlic. Marinate it quite well. This is something you can actually put inside your refrigerator and let it marinate for probably about an hour. Also, make sure that your hands are clean. As you know already, cleanliness in the kitchen and safety come first. You don't want to get sick, so that's a good thing. So marinate your fish real good make him look real nice as i say you can put it inside your refrigerator let it marinate um, for probably about um, 20 minutes i'm using the walkers with jerk season as you know i'm the brand ambassador really love this flavor and love the the flavor that you get from using it my herbs what i did with my herbs i have some fresh thyme some basil some cilantro um, some fresh garlic some oregano fresh and also some chives and I mix that together just to give it a nice fresh um, flavor going for it with some nice herbs and as you know herbs is good for your body keep you nice and healthy so right here my fish is well marinated everything is looking real good at this point I'm gonna use my metal skillet 
So the metal skillet that I'm gonna use make it real hot so that way when you put the fish on it, um, it don't stick. So that's why I'm putting the oil on it. Make it real nice and hot. You can see that flame coming off. Then I'm gonna slowly put my fish on it. The fish, you don't have to let it stay on one side for a very long time. The only thing you probably need is probably about, I'll say about one minute on one side and then you're gonna take it up and you're gonna turn it around. We're going for that nice grill mark. I'm gonna also sprinkle a little bit of season on it just to help bring out that flavor, which I think you will definitely enjoy. I'm now gonna turn it over um, just to give it that nice steak mark. Let it cook for probably another one more minute. I'm also gonna take it off and I'm gonna put it inside my oven so that way probably about 350. So this way it can cook a little bit more better on the inside. I'm gonna serve this dish real simple with some mashed potato and some saute spinach, something different, something you will definitely enjoy. So as you can see right here, I put the fish on the plate, great presentation. You see the quality, you see the grill mark, you see that nice chard, that flavor, make sure everything looking real good. I'm serving this with a lemon caper sauce, which is real flavorful. Lemon caper sauce, if you go on my website, you will see the recipe for the lemon caper sauce. I'm gonna serve this with some spinach and also some mashed potato, real simple, real flavorful. Then I'm gonna also, for the capers, one thing you can also do, you can fry the capers. I'm um, just putting a little bit of oil, fry it, give it a nice um, cr crunch to it. Caper is real strong in flavor and it goes quite well with seafood, especially fish. So I'm gonna put a little piece of um, red onion, um, charred red onion, that will help also enhance the flavor. And then I'm gonna put my sauce over the fish and I'm then gonna sprinkle a little bit of my capers on the sauce just to make it real nice and flavorful. So right now, if you can just imagine the amount of flavor that is actually going on for this fish right now, you are so much gonna enjoy it. Sprinkle the capers and put it together. So right now this is done. You will definitely enjoy this. And like I say, this is a jerk herb branzino and you'll definitely enjoy this. So until I catch you next week, enjoy this fish and love it. Um, when you make your copy of this, put it on Instagram, tag me on it, and we'll definitely enjoy it. All right, talk to you later. Catch you next week in the Kitchen. Karen Brown. The woman behind Carrie Ann Brown Music Promotions. I am the CEO of Carrie Ann Brown Music Promotions here in New York City. My company is a registered New York State limited liability company here in New York for reggae and dancehall music promotion. So basically what I do is I promote music for the entertainers of reggae and dancehall music. And also I'm going into other genre of music as well such as hip-hop afrobeat soca music why because i love music i love music from when i was a child growing up back in jamaica i used to sit in front of my tv in front of the radio and like listen to all the various music from like scare with my you know the grandmother days them yes that's right up until modern day reggae and dancehall with the bounty killer the beanie man the sizzler the lieutenant stitchy right so i grew up in jamaica where i was surrounded by music from birth up until when i left jamaica why because there were two sound systems one on my left one on my right one was making um like reggae and dancehall and the other one was making like the strictly like culture rastafarian type of music so i grew up between both and that is where my love for music came yeah brand new song from cape breath mirror and our new tune thursday with i carry and brown where must say win 2019 we say what yeah we now watch them that's right 
still have no failure. The place now run like one time. Watch them all when they kill you. After I wouldn't let the sun shine. If you don't let me, we don't raise you. Yeah. I decided, you know, as I was getting, you know, much um, up in age that maybe I should do this music, you know, as a business. So I decided in 2010 to start doing music promotion of reggae and dancehall music. So over the years, I have worked with various um, entertainers of reggae and dancehall and um, it was, you know, enjoyable time for me with them and I also was a radio host on various radio stations here in New York. So I was very, very happy for those opportunities. But now, in 2020, um, I'm mostly focused on my brand, which is Carrie and Brown Music Promotion. Premier now, Rossini. That is the only solution. Premier now, new tune, so I Carrie and Brown here in the building. I left the radio station because, you know, for various reasons, I wanted to feel more independent and free. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just started working, focusing on my brand, Carrie and Broad Music Promotion. Basically, I want to give the upcoming entertainers like a chance to showcase their talent to the world. So that is where I think my company, Carrie and Brown Music Promotion, is a little bit different from everybody else because I'm willing to give upcoming entertainers a platform for them to showcase their talent. And that was what I was doing when I was on the various radio stations over the years. I only premiere new tune. Why? Because I didn't want to hear the same tunes them over and over and over again. So I got the love for new music. Anything new, I will promote it. You see the t-shirt I'm wearing right now? This is my brand t-shirt, um, Carrie Ambra Music Promotion t-shirt. And I'm very, very, very proud of myself. I have t-shirts and hoodies, t-shirt and hoodies, um, and hats. I have hats and I have um, some uh, drawstring bags as well. But on eBay, the only ones that I put on eBay right now for sale are the hoodies because it's winter time. March 14th is going to be my birthday party cookout. Yes, you can't forget the food. You know, Jamaican people love them food, right? Yes, so it's a birthday party cookout, March 14th. And it's going to be at Celebrity Sports Bar and Lounge at 5B. Elspeth Avenue of Hagley Park Road in Kingston, Jamaica, and it's from 10 p.m. until around 4 a.m. Food is on sale between 500 to 1,000 Jamaican dollars and support the bar. So basically just come in from 10 to 4, support the bar, buy a plate of food, and that's it, and come and enjoy some amazing music. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Thanks for watching. Come chat with me. See you next week. You can shoot me with your words. You can cut me with your lies. You can kill me with your hatefulness. But just like life, I rise. Does my sexiness offend you? Oh. <laughs> Does it come as a surprise that I dance? as if I have diamonds at the meeting of my thighs. <laughs> Out of the huts of history's shame I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain I rise. A black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling and bearing in the tide. Simply Kells. <laughs>